Hi, my name is Jim Simpson. I'm currently a long haul trucker. But because of my wife's illnesses, multiple unfortunately, I have to come off the road. The best way I can do that is to go back to something I've been passionate about for the last 20 years. You see, I've never bought my own gun holster in the last 20 years. I've always made my own. And a couple years ago, I made one while on the truck, literally on the bottom bunk of the truck. It's different. Um, it has the all day driving comfort I need, but also the speed of draw. This is a uh, blue gun, by the way, um, called a holster mold sometimes, or a uh, training gun, it goes by different names. What we have here is a Kydex thermoplastic core holding the actual gun, close molded, surrounded by a leather wrap that makes it look like a fanny pack until it blows open. Now, unlike most of these fanny pack holsters that use a zipper, this explodes through four large snaps that lock it all together. This one goes inside, like so. It doesn't take long to reclose. The advantage of it is even if I'm sitting, it folds with my body and it doesn't point against my body as I ride down the road or walk around or do whatever I need to do. Um, it's fast because, let me show you from a side view. Once I pull that cord, it presents the gun very solidly in whatever direction I want. If, I, if I'm close in and somebody's too close, I can pull it up and get at it without um, exposing it to a grab by the opponent. These strings, they're the same string. There's only one string in this entire rig. It goes from this end through here, locks around to the bottom, comes back up to the top of the thermoplastic, ties, forms the handle, and does the same thing on the other side. There's just one piece of string. The string is Paracord 550, rated at 125 pounds. When you double it over like this, that's 250 pounds test so it's not gonna break and if that cord ever frays or gets damaged later um, or you want to change to a different color paracords available all over for five dollars for 50 feet and there'll be an instruction an instructional video on how to restring it yourself um, one of the things cooked into this by nature of its design is a concept called right to repair um, basically this is something that you can maintain yourself as opposed to um, have to take it to a shoe repair shop if fine laces come undone or send it back to the manufacturer, anything like that. Um, it's a really nice way of carrying your gun in a discreet yet very fast draw system. Now, the other part of this program is that that Kydex core that's in there, the thermoplastic core that's molded when you heat it to like 380 degrees, it turns limp as a wet noodle, wrap it around the gun, and let dry for generally two minutes and it's gone rock hard again. Um, you can do something else with it. You see that core doesn't have to live in here. It can also live at your belt. This is the same core, same item. I brought it out here and I've tied it to my belt with more paracord, as you can see, and a strap system that's borrowed from a motorcycle helmet chin strap. You can see it's going around the belt right here, same on the back side, and it clings to the belt very strongly. But most holsters that cling to the belt, you have to take your entire belt off to get them on and off. Here, no, you see, by undoing the uh, motorcycle chin strap affair, This can be taken off while you're sitting in your car. You're about to go pick up your kid from school or something like that. Can't legally take a boom thing in there. No problem. Take it off while seated. Stick it in your glove compartment, center console. Go get your kid. Good to go. Now, you notice there's a whole bunch of different holes for mounting these strings. That's because you can adjust the tilt angle in any direction you want based on where these are connected. The ride height. And this will go on 
this side or this side down. So if I want to wear this butt first, I can. Um, that's actually an interesting way of holding the gun because although the draw speed strong side is a little bit slower, you have better offhand access to it than you would with a conventional butt rearward setup. The other interesting advantage of butt forward, if you're in something like a buffet line, I'll hold it here. If I'm in something like a buffet line, I'm holding a tray in one hand, I can lock the gun in in a crowded place so that nobody can snatch it from me from behind. I can just rest my hand on it, my forearm I should say, and lock the gun into the holster, which is not a threatening posture, but it makes sure nobody else can grab it. So for weapons retention, this kind of a hold is actually really good. So with this kind of a rig, you can experiment with different positions and different directions on either side of your body, you might want to hold it. You can set it up as a cross draw, strong side, straight draw. Um, you can experiment with however this wants to fit your body. And also, based on how much tension you put on the uh, so-called chin strap, as I've been calling it, um, you can press it into your body or wear it just a little bit looser for more comfort. Um, takes that phrase, your body, your choice, to a whole new level. So, what, I'm, what I've got here is a complete package, or you could just buy it like this for 50 bucks, or you go for the complete package for $120 on Indiegogo. I'm trying to raise, at that kind of rate, 15 grand. What do I get for 15 grand? Shop space for at least two people. One employee right away. Enough tooling to get two people running. And take off from there. The total supplies, the total costs for the materials involved, for the core holster, if you wanted just a belt holster that can be placed anywhere in your body for 50 bucks, the parts cost for that's about 10 bucks. For um, the metal rings, some snaps, some uh, not snaps, um, grommets, a little bit of paracord, and of course the kydex. Um, the kydex is going to be 0.093 grade, heavier grade, so that those strap strings, the paracord, cannot possibly pull loose. Um, a lot of people use 0.08 um, thickness kydex, but for maximum strength, we're going 0.093. You can wear that on your side, open carry. Um, another reason to have this kind of flexibility, have the gun carrier in a fanny pack or on your hip, uh, some training classes or shooting ranges do not allow fanny packs. They have a problem with it. Um, there's, there are safety problems with cheap ones, we know that. So they make you wear a belt holster. Well, with my setup, you don't have to buy a separate belt holster. You've got one included with the core rig. That's my program. Um, from the time I get 15 grand in hand, I can start producing production ready samples and in about one month, send those off to review. About two weeks after that, I can start shipping production grade product. So between one and a half and I'll say two months at the absolute outside, you will have the most flexible set of holster products anybody's ever seen. Oh, by the way. Instructions for restringing this in case you um, have a problem with this string will be included. The other thing about those instructions, they also allow you to take the kydex core and flip it inside the pack. So if you want to convert it from being a right hand rig to a left hand rig, zero cost. It's about 10 minutes worth of knots with instructions provided on how to do it. All of us are one broken arm or broken wrist or whatever away from having to operate as the other hand temporarily, maybe even permanently if it's bad enough. Um, here you can change it over, no cost, no extra parts needed. Anyways, my name is Jim Simpson, and if you're seeing this, you know that I'm ready to make a serious effort at being a very unusual, but I think a very necessary player in the holster sphere. I think I've got some ideas and some things that nobody's ever seen before. I also have two more products in the pipe in the R&D phase 
that could be even more earth shattering. So thank you for listening. And if you want the strangest and coolest gun holster ever made, oh, by the way, the gun's involved. Yeah, let's cover that. Um, we're dealing with small semi-autos in the, the new wave of double, um, double stack category. So you got SIG P365, the Springfield Hellcat, the um, Mossberg MC2C, uh, sorry, MC2SC, their, their name and system is kind of confusing, and uh, s and Shield series. Um, who else has got some? Ah, oh, Glock, of course, the uh, 43, 48 series, that sort of thing. We're going to cover those. Um, I'm going to cover guns in that range. There'll be a complete list if you're seeing this on Indiegogo. Thank you very much for your kind attention. And again, Jim Simpson signing out. Thank you.